Uh, Mark, I wanted to ask you about the fourth quarter, particularly after they went on that 12-0 run. It seemed like Lou played a major factor. Um, just your thoughts on the resilience he showed after um, missing a lot of that second half. Yeah, he was really good. You know, he's obviously a great competitor every night. He handles the big matchups every night. I thought his offensive game tonight was about as good as he's played. You know, just a great pace, great decisions with the ball, uh, took the right shots, um, and... Yeah, I think it's easy to, to lose sight of the fact that he's still developing. Um, but that was huge progress. You know, he really has been, he's been trying really hard at that stuff. And I thought tonight it really came together for him. Unfortunately, the fouls limited his minutes, but he played a great game. Then I also want to ask you about um, Shea. He, he, a lot of guys were getting 30 assists tonight, but he seemed to score off the catch so much tonight on the give and goes and back cuts and catch and shoot three in the corner. Just what were you seeing that was allowing for those easy looks to happen? Yeah, it was more a reflection of the team offense. And, um, yeah, I give him a lot of credit. He's as, as good of a isolation player as there is, and he really wants to participate in a team offense because he understands the bigger picture of that um, as it relates to developing the entire team and giving the rest of the guys confidence. Uh, and he's still learning how to do that, you know, mechanically, but uh, his intentions are certainly in the right spot. And, I, you know, I thought he did a really good job of that tonight, obviously. And then last thing, uh, you've, you all have talked a lot about getting off to good starts, and tonight you all really delivered that first punch and for the most part carried it through for the whole game. Why do you think that was the case? Um, yeah, I don't know. I th we were in a nice groove offensively to start, that's for sure. But uh, I just thought, you know, we came out with great uh, intention from a physicality standpoint. You know, we had their ch our chest on them early. Uh, we were we dove right into the game tonight. We didn't ease into it at all. And it was a great response from the Orlando game because there was something to be desired after that one. Um, and I just think, you know, there's a little bit of a silver lining since we're a little bit smaller right now. It's really forcing us to be super physical with our guards in order to be effective. And I thought all those guys tonight, Jalen, Josh, Shea, Lou, Isaiah, Trey, they were physical tonight on the perimeter. It was a huge factor in the game. Pierce Austin Valley Sports uh, offensively shot the ball really well tonight, 51% from three, 17 made threes, and also a pretty relatively low turnover night. Is there anything on the offensive end that is, is kind of sustainable for you guys that you want to see moving forward? Uh, I mean, just the way the ball moved um, and the, the sharpness of our attacks. Um, you know, I thought it was it was good carryover again out of the Orlando game. Orlando really loaded up on us. Uh, and we were a step slow. Uh both with our attacks, you know, like the speed of our actions and also our ball movement in that game, and it, it swallowed us up. Orlando did a great job and uh, exposed that we needed to improve on that. And the guys, to their credit, you know, we hit that today in shoot-around and pregame, and they came out and played really well offensively and together. And then also wanted to ask you about Josh, and obviously you talked about him before the game. Is what we saw tonight kind of a con continuation of, of the trends that you'd been seeing from him in terms of playing aggressive, getting downhill, and playing with that force? Yeah, he was big time tonight. You know, he was big time. Great uh, floor game, great balance uh, in terms of when to attack and when to just move it. You know, he was a ball mover tonight, but he also found his spots inside of the, the offense. And then defensively, he continues to focus on that end of the floor, and I thought he was really good there tonight. You know, he handled, uh, you know, good matchups. He was good in the help. He was early in the help. He communicated well. He had a play where Trey Mann switched on to, I think it was Gafford, and he bumped Trey Mann out of there as the bigger guy. I mean, that takes a lot of anticipation and engagement, uh, and that just shows you that the guy's playing. And so, you know, I was just pleased on that end of the floor tonight as I was on offense. Myron Fox uh, here in Oklahoma City. Uh, that physicality, that kind of the first quarter, I think they had 15 points, 6 of 22 from the field to start things off. Yeah, I mean, again, I think, you know, we have to be physical. It's part of the deal uh, if you want to be a good team. It's not the mark of young teams usually, and that's a challenge that we pose to our guys is we've got to make up for inexperience and the fact that we're probably not as physically developed as we're going to be at some point. we got to make up for that with physicality. And like I said, with, you know, J-Rob out with um, – Jalen Williams out with Poku and his length out, it really puts a spotlight on, you know, our guards and wings ability to stand in there. We're doing a lot of switching. They're finding themselves down around the basket. And I thought tonight, like I said, you know, top to bottom, I thought we really took the fight to them. When they talk about your team, Shea gets a lot of attention, rightfully so, but you beat Boston without him. And I know some things went right. Tonight, the first half, I think he's 4 of 11. That's when you built a 26-point lead. Yeah, and the thing I always give him credit for is, he, like I said, he wants to be a participant in a great team. He doesn't just want to be a great player in a silo. I mean, he wants to help build a great team, and um, uh, he's been a great 
you know, factor in that up until this point, and he backs it up with the way he plays, and so he creates great space for his teammates, uh, for a guy that you know is as talented and as ambitious as he is. He's just got an incredible balance of that, and I thought you know tonight that was on display with him in the lineup, and um, you know he was a full participant in the offense tonight, just like everybody else was. He he held his own defensively. I mean, he was excellent tonight. Mark, just to follow up on the size discrepancy, did you feel that? you are almost able to turn that advantage around on them when they're playing bigs like Gafford and Porzingis together that you can go small and, you know, you know, you can't really match them size wise at this point, but not even try to. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the swing vote on that is the physicality. You know, if you're small and you're not, you know, the more physical team, you're just going to get punked and overwhelmed. And if you're small and really physical, you can offset some size and uh, that's hard to do. You know, it's hard to crank that up night after night and it's hard to do for 48 minutes but um it's also hard to be really good and we want to be really good at some point and um you know we have to do that if we want to be and i thought we did that tonight yeah.